what it felt like for all these people to be asking me for a drink. And in this particular so bar, bar yeah. oh yeah, yeah, off and on, off and on. What was this like in the eighties? No, this is a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. This is really recent. This is the Phantom um, okay. in in the tenth, and the way that the place was built was you had these people in front of you, and then you had this shelf of your overstock up above you and so that was literally what I would see and I would come home at night um, and paint you know? and so these are a couple other things this is more of those situations but this is something more lit lit literary mm -hmm. it's from a James Elroy um, book called White Jazz it's about this milieu of mobsters and music in LA in the early 50s and that's sort of South Central and of course I've gone psychedelic on it but yeah and uh, yeah so all of this stuff is sort of probably marked by the time that it was made from 2013 and this is a piece that's about Goncourt in a place that I was working then at the corner of Parmentier and, and uh, uh, Rue de Temple and working the bar working the bar and looking okay. at the corner and um, and again this is the fat home and it's the point of view of the street and the windows and the people and just the ambiance of the early evening the time of the aperitif and you've got these twins in there and the twins were for me always from the 80s in New York to now, kind of like just a, a weird sort of benediction. If, if the twins come in, it's an interesting thing. So um, I always ask who's the bad one? Uh, yeah, you never know. Yeah. Well, it's always supposed to be one good, one bad. Well, they are, it's all, you will always get an inter at least some kind of something interesting out of that. This is called Bike. And it's sort of, you know, I went off. I went off. I didn't restrain myself. But uh, you know, what I, what the viewer brings to it is hopefully their own story. And that's one more club one. And that's another one with those twins in there again. And just more of that kind of that that skanky music kind of. So music is obviously an integral part in you and your work, right? Part of it. Part of, a good part. When did of it. it start? Oh gosh, a long time ago. But working with music as a in a, is an integral part uh, since nineteen uh, since two, since nineteen ninety five, sure. But before that, 22 years. It's yeah, 22 years. But so there's a lot of build up of work, a huge amount of build up of work, and the main body of that work hasn't been seen here in Paris. It's been shown in, most recently in, in Australia in 2016, and maybe in New York very soon. We won't talk about that. Mm -hmm. And my portrait work, too. But you're but, from LA, right? No, I'm from Detroit. From Detroit. Did you see that film, Detroit? Not yet. Yeah. It's I, okay. It doesn't have much soul to it, but... It's you know, okay. I'm curious because it's about 1967, not mm -hmm. 1968, right? Yes, I think And so. I, I was at the Tigers-Yankees doubleheader. Mickey Mantle was playing. And that great dream team of the Tigers with all of... I can't remember all those guys' names. And when the riot broke out, and I was with my grandfather, who was a ballet master. Wow. And um, uh, we had left the Detroit area not long before, and he still was living there. And he, you know, guns were going off, things were burning. And he got me out of there and drove me all the way back up to the Lansing area where his son, my father, had moved. It was like, it was really, really uh, interesting as a, I was nine to wow, watch the, the city burn. And then it burned again the next year, really burned. 
when Martin Luther King was killed, right? Yeah. And then Bobby Kennedy. Which came first? Do you remember? It was like April to June. King, I think. Which? I'm not I didn't King come first? I think King came first in April, maybe the end of April, and then it was Bobby Kennedy in early June, if I'm not mistaken. I can't recall. But, you know, what a year. And then the Democratic Convention later that year. It was unrelenting. Sort of like now is unrelenting. But I think life is always like that. You know, right no now it's pretty damn... Unrelenting, <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, come sit down now. I'm going to put some more chips.